Samela Monastery, also known as Mariam Anna, by the public, is located in the Altindir village within the boundaries of Maka district in Trabzon, on the slopes of Karadag mountain overlooking the Altindir valley. The monastery is situated approximately 300 meters above the valley, following the tradition of monasteries being located outside of cities, in forests, near caves and water sources. The name, Samela, is said to come from the word, Milos, meaning, black, and it is believed that it may be connected to the black color of the depiction of Mary at the monastery. However, it is also thought that the name, Samela, may come from the dark-colored Karadag Mountains where the monastery was built. According to legend, Samela Monastery was founded by two priests, Barnabas and Sophranios, from Athens during the reign of Emperor I. Theodosius, 375-395. In the 6th century, Emperor Justinian ordered the monastery to be repaired and expanded, and it was carried out by his general Belisarios. It is known that the current state of Samela Monastery has existed since the 13th century. In 1204, the Trabzon Komnenos Principality was established and the importance of the monastery increased during the reign of Prince III. Alexios, 1349-1390, who granted the monastery income through his decrees. During the reigns of three, Manuel, the son of three, Alexios, and the subsequent princes, Samela Monastery was further enriched through new decrees. After the Ottoman Empire gained control of the eastern Black Sea coast, the Ottoman sultans protected the rights of Samela Monastery, as well as other monasteries, and granted certain privileges. In the 18th century, many parts of Samela Monastery were renovated and some walls were decorated with frescoes. In the 19th century, the monastery acquired a magnificent appearance with the addition of large buildings and experienced its most wealthy and prosperous period. During this period, the monastery became a place visited by many foreign travelers and featured in their writings. It was seized by the Russian occupation of Trabzon between 1916 and 1918 and was completely emptied after 1923. The main sections of Samela Monastery include the main rock church, several chapels, a kitchen, student rooms, a guest house, and a library, the Holy Spring. These structures are built on a large area. At the entrance to the monastery, there is a large water arch, which seems to have brought water to the monastery. Most of this arch, which has many eyes, has collapsed today. A narrow, long staircase leads to the main entrance of the monastery. Next to the entrance gate are the guard rooms. From here, a staircase leads to the inner courtyard. On the left, in front of the cave that forms the main part of the monastery and has been turned into a church, there are various monastery buildings. The library is located on the right. The large balcony section on the right side of the mountain, which covers the front of the mountain, was used as monk rooms and guest rooms and dates back to 1860. The influence of Turkish art can also be seen in the rooms, cupboards, and stoves in the buildings around the courtyard. The walls of the main rock church and the chapel attached to it are decorated with frescoes. Frescoes from the reign of Prince III. Alexios have been identified on the wall facing the courtyard in the main rock church. The frescoes in the chapel are dated to the early 18th century and three layers made in three different periods can be seen. The frescoes in the lower layer are of higher quality. The main themes depicted in the frescoes, which have been partially removed and have a very dilapidated appearance, are scenes taken from the Bible and depictions of the life of Jesus and Mary. How to get there? It is located in the Altindir Valley in Mecca. It is 47 kilometers from Trabzon, Turkey and 17 kilometers from Mecca district. The road is asphalt and the transportation is easy. There is a 300-meter forest walk, 